Ahoy everyone and welcome. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. Uh, I'm your captain Hillian and along with Plus Matra Kier Scalebeard at your service. And welcome to Tribes Vengeance. Now, the first thing I'll note of this game is it, this is another one of those games that I grew up with that I've just had a lot of fun with. <clears throat> Sorry. And what's also noticeable about this game is that it's not on, available online anymore. Or I'm not sure it ever was available online, but it, it certainly isn't now. Uh, give me a moment. I, now I had to rush a bit at the end of the five minute timer, so sorry if I'm breathing a bit hard. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, you can't get you can't get this game on Steam or GOG or others. And okay, yeah, the mouse is being a bit odd. But probably because it's. Uh, the game is being forced into windowed mode at the moment, so I'm guessing it doesn't really like that because it doesn't have that as an innate option, as you can well, not see here, since, well, there's no option for windowed mode. Uh, yeah, this game, I, I spent quite a bit of time in this game, also in the multiplayer of it, which, if I remember correctly, is not actually dead yet, even though this game is almost 20 years old. I believe it came out in 2004 or so. Bloody heck! Yep. <laughs> it's just one of those games that still has a lot of fan base because the, the Tribes Van the, the Tribes franchise is still alive. Uh, though it's only the only game that I know of that launched after this one uh, was Tribes Ascend, which is a free-to-play multiplayer shooter. And I played it for a while, a short while. But maybe I just completely suck at it because I hadn't played this game in a while. But yeah, I didn't really like it. Uh, beyond right. that, I only have one big announcement to make. And that is, well, I've installed a new processor and motherboard in my computer. Which luckily happened without any issues. So at the moment, what took my previous CPU processor about 90% of its processing power, the current one is only at 40%. And so yeah, that, that yeah. should mean that streaming should be... I keep interrupting you, sorry about that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll I was just to comment on you there. I would say it is, it's a quite a massive improvement, I was to say. Yeah, so that should mean that streaming should go a lot smoother from now on, uh, because, well, the processor isn't getting choked. So I should be able to run games at higher qualities, which for this one, while well, it's a 20-year-old game, of course I can run it at maximum proc at max power. I'd be concerned if you couldn't, but then again, you're never new with older games. True. So yeah, let's get started on this game. Let's do it on normal. Famous last words. Where's my daughter, Albrecht? I sent for Victoria an hour ago, Your Majesty. See to your sister, Olivia. She's keeping her future husband waiting. She will make a wonderful bride, Gaius. If she ever shows up. Oh, have I kept you waiting long? Shall we begin then? I'm so looking forward to dinner with my intended. Or should I say your intended, father? Your daughter is headstrong, Tiberius. I look forward to teaching her some manners. Your marriage to General Gaius is of critical importance to the Empire. Well, it's comforting to know I'm such a valuable commodity. Forgive me, but I'm suddenly not very hungry. She killed Mother and she may be the death of you. Don't start, Olivia. Just bring your sister back. As you wish, Father.
You know you're driving father mad. If you think Gaius is such a catch, why don't you marry him? I would be the sacrificial lamb, I suppose. But I'm not the pretty one. Oh, look around you, Victoria. What do you think makes all of this possible? The Empire. We have ruled for 12 generations. But privilege and power entail sacrifice, and the Empire requires this marriage. If you marry Gaius, you are only pledging your hand, not your heart. Tell Daddy he'll have his wedding. It still looks pretty good, doesn't it? Even if the animation is a bit janky here and there. <laughs> yeah, it is impressive, especially with the face animation. Just some of the body animation, like from the sister, there were her it's arms were a bit CPO. yanky. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit C, three CPU, but the faces, the, honestly, the face animations are actually very impressive from uh, this uh, from that year. Victoria, if you can hear me, get to the bridge. We're all here waiting for you. And yeah, we're suddenly 90%, 90 degrees facing down. Uh, yeah, we're under attack, so we better get the hell up. I thought I'd put this stupid thing on silent. Give me a moment. Oh dear. There's much going on here at the moment. Uh, by the way. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's see? With the Find her and escort her to the bridge. Right. I was just saying to say is, I noticed something. Uh, uh, you did something earlier in the intro twice that I found a bit uh, comical timing. I mean that was. <laughs> On two t times you, in perfect timing, look towards the gaming screen like you, if you saw something. As a, if the first time was a person flying out, you look towards it. The second time, you look towards it, the ship flew past. Olivia, we have to leave. Okay. Sister, yeah. if you can hear me, find an inventory station and contact me. Yeah, that was, that wasn't completely uh, intentional, I'd have to say then. And yeah, Olivia, these are the can you hear me? I'm here. Now take a breath and listen. That inventory station can equip you with medium armor. Your armor comes with an energy blade. It's good up close, but arm yourself with whatever's available. Medium armor provides medium mobility and protection from damage. Only armor that can use the butler. And we also have light and medium. Yeah, no, not medium. <laughs> we also have we have medium and we also have light and medium armor. No, that's heavy armor. Uh, yeah, we can equip the Spin Fuser, which is basically this franchise's signature weapon. It's basically a grenade. This thing. Perhaps you might disarm the tribal barbarians with your rapier wit. No, exit the inventory station. The Spin Fuser, which is basically a grenade launcher, only it flies in a straight line and keeps going and will explode on contact. Uh, which, if you can get a direct hit with that, it's basically an instant kill on most, except for heavy targets and vehicles. Wait, hold on, hold on. You tell me that's a heavy bolter, basically. Uh, sort of, only it, uh, it flies explosive discs. Chain gun, well, it's a, it's a machine gun, the blaster, <laughs> it's a shotgun. Victoria, the guards can't reach you. You need to get back to the leisure deck. I'm setting up markers in your heads-up display. My heads-up what? The radar at the top right of your vision will have markers. Just follow where they lead. I'll monitor your progress from here. Okay, medium armor, reasonably fast and dribble. Give me a second to change one thing in the controls, though. Uh, let's see, where is it? It should be in here somewhere. Zoom, command map, deployable. Uh, deployable. Where is the melee? Uh, 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 one of these old ones where you have, <laughs> where you have to slide through and can't use the mouse wheel. Uh, uh, where is the melee attack? Or do I have to equip that separately? 
Yes, it's a separate. It, <laughs> it's a separate weapon. It looks like an oversized wrist blade. Uh, let's see which way to go. This way. And yeah. I followed the marker. I'm at the bottom of a deep shaft. You need to go up. Use the jetpack in your armor. I hate these things. I was in a bit too fast for the ch for the chatter. Uh, right. In the upper left, we have our health and as well as the jetpack energy and the right, Yeah, we right mouse that button. There's a squad on their way to meet you in the throne room. Follow the marker quickly. I think I'll just shut up and let the tutorial do its tutorial thing. Oh dear. And yeah, you, you'll have to get used to Julia's pain sound because he, uh, <laughs> you keep making them. And she has plenty of health to make them. So I believe. It does regenerate, but I think that's only because we're in story mode. In I'm not sure if it does in the I'm through the throne room. Room. Where to? I don't know. The ship is crawling with tribals. Find your way to crew quarters. We'll meet you there. What? How do I get there? There's a hatch above you. You can do this, Victoria. I'll swap to the chain gun for the next bit. We'll get to use these weapons a plenty, but I just want to show them off all now. The tunnel is blocked, Olivia. Clear it with your weapon. And yeah, since the spin fuser disc is an explosive, you can hurt yourself with that. Okay, I saw something that impressed me. Mm -hmm. You, uh, the Oregon you just used. Uh, and not. Yes, this one, that one. When you fired, do you see the little... Sh yeah, that thing that just flopped. Many developers back then, they would ignore a such a simple reaction from a piece of a metal ring. And there's also the bolt on the, uh, on the side, because that actually is fires forwards. Yeah, yeah, this game was made by Vivendi, which has been bought out by someone else. Now, I think. Oh. And yeah. Machine gun, simple as can be. Aim, shoot, and kill. And there's also a third bit in the upper left that I hope you notice know here. Find some help. Okay. Health kits. Okay. There's that. There's a third bar, which is a bit less visible. Uh, I believe that's counting our. That's keeping track of our speed. And I think I need to lower the sensitivity a bit. Yeah, uh, uh, so far, I'm very impressed. Like, sure, we had some very well graphic games in 2004, but not many. Of the, and those that were were usually, well. By a very big company. Yeah, the but it is... was reasonably sized, I think. Oh. Uh, I hope this isn't being too loud, because the audio just got a, a quite a bit louder all of a sudden for me, at least. Uh, yes, fine. Some fun on my end. Okay. Just lower it for me a bit. Okay, it sounds like the audio, oh, no, not that. <laughs> sounds like the audio got a bit out of whack there for some reason. Uh, I'll lower this a bit. Uh, how's that compared to the voice audio from just now? It sounds just fine to me. Heavy armor is also the only armor that can use the mortar. This one over here. So 
but let's swap out the shotgun with that. And oh, yeah, this armor is so big, you don't even hold your weapons yourself. But well, that's that's something. Oh, I just realized. I hope people can hear you. For I just realized I I rose your volume on my end yesterday when you had the audio problems with your Bluetooth. It shouldn't have. Uh, the only thing that really had to be changed was to well, reconnect the microphone. It, 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 as you can see, but down below. What you can see uh, below the screen, what you can see. Uh, uh -huh. the microphone is moving. The microphone sound bar is moving. All right. So you should be able to be heard by others then. Yeah. All right, good. For um... yeah, it would be awkward if I was the only one here that you do to I rose your volume on my end by the Discord uh, system. Okay, there was... Did you hear voice acting there? Because... Wrong again. I heard sound to me. The sound of you interrupted her. Okay, because I wasn't hearing. I heard a bit of voice acting. I heard what, but not the rest. Okay, that, that worked fine earlier when I tested this game, but that, that was before I changed the CPU. And, yeah, if you get too close, the enemy will just swap over to the melee blade. Um, let's hope it... Let's hope there was a single issue glitch then. Or maybe that happened because I turned on the subtitles or something? I can hear some enemy chatter, but nothing to written subtitles here. I can hear the, the enemy sounds. Hmm. Okay. And your cat is screaming and shooting in the news about it. Don't hear the enemy chatter. Okay, yeah, I definitely did not hear any voice acting there. Could it yeah, be the I think they, I think they, I think it might be also be a bit of a, the music is too loud compared to the voices. Could be, maybe. But it, it was audible. I'll just lower the music a bit more again. Let's head if it at 50-ish. I know there's a few more voice lines coming up, so we can check against that. It might also be because I have to tinker around a bit in the files to get the game to work with window mode. Keep hitting myself. You. Yeah, okay. This is too small for us to pass through, though. Yeah, there, there's, like, there's no voice audio for some reason. Okay, that this was means strange. Either that or the music is somehow overpowered extremely easily. Hmm. Let's put on a save just in case. But yeah, I like it said, you can, you can read it at the top now that blasted heavy armor is too bulky, you need to change back to medium. So there we go. That audio only equips the mortar. Uh, let's try out the burner. Which, well, I think the name says it all. So it works a bit differently than you'd expect. Just don't eat it, though, Helian. <laughs> Again, what, what is up with the... 
Like, why do I keep pressing the load game instead of options? It's weird. It, we had voice acting before. I'm not sure if I want to touch this or not. The only thing we changed was that we turned on the subtitles and suddenly the audio wasn't working anymore. Really? Wait, I've not heard of really sound in ages. Is, is Brady Sound still a thing? Uh, what a thing? 3D Sound. Is that still a thing? Um, but it, it means more, it works more better with uh, headsets and such, and that it actually puts the sound sort of towards the direction that it should be in the game. And yeah, it, it has, it's having some issues with the options. Yeah, that. Now things that are to the left should sound more to the left. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm not too sure if Twitch can really record that though. Still no. Okay, I might. I might. I might restart the game after this combat bit. And I might look at turning off that heat noise. Well, heat noise is usually a good way to let you know you're getting hit. Uh, not us getting hit, but the enemy is getting hit. Are you telling me that loud scream is them hit, getting hit and not dying? No, that, yeah, when, they, and when we're dealing damage to an enemy, there's a tick sound. Like tick, 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 tick. And that was the ticking was about. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm going to do this real quick. Just to see if restarting maybe fixes the subtitle. Not the subtitles. But uh, the audio. Uh, Okay, I, I'm a bit too used to games now asking if you, uh, if you, yeah, uh, with it, uh, bleh, wording. I'm a bit too used to games auto saving before you quit and not asking if you want to save before you quit. Okay, so turn these back on so I can see them. Okay, I don't know what to think about enemies making a ticking sound when you hit them. That yeah, sounds a bit weird. The game is giving a tick. Uh, on my end, at least, I could hear uh, a. I could hear a sound because the enemies were walking through the fire. Uh, 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 let's see if. I hope that the voice acting returns now because we are. At Don't give them a target. Okay, that sounds good. Because this is the end of the level. Victoria, our pod, it, it can't take off. The release clamps must be stuck. The what? I don't know what you're talking about. We can't get out. You have to get to the observation booth and override the mechanism. If you don't, we won't be able to release the pod. We all die. Yeah, I got it, thanks. I'll do what I can. Also, a nice little detail that I think is missing still in modern games, some modern games. That if you get too close to an object, you, your weapon gets pushed back. Yeah, I said this. I never heard a company talk about, but they seem like a company that put a lot of love and effort into the games, even the small stuff. Got it. Okay, Olivia, I'm on my way. Victoria, the pod, it's launching. Don't launch. Wait. No, wait. We'll come back for you. Hold on. Wait! Don't... Don't... Leave me! <sighs> what what to do, Hillian? They've initiated a core overload. This ship is gonna blow. Imperials. They really don't like parting with their possessions. Status. All the supplies we can carry, Daniel. We should move out. 
Agreed. Huh. One last piece of treasure. Let's see if she's got anything worth grabbing. Beyond the obvious. <laughs> yeah. Wait. This one. It's Princess Victoria. We can keep it easy, Daniel. After what her family's done to us, I say leave the bitch to... Nobody ever made a dollar off a dead princess. She's coming with us. Okay, one line got cut off a bit there. Morning, princess. I'd get up if I were you. Glorax like two things, heat and filet. Where's my family? All in time. But for now, you're about to know what it's like to be a tribe. What I know is that I'm dirty, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. And I'm apparently in the hands of some tribal Woof. dog. There's plenty of food back at the base. But where is it, princess? Now we'll see if a royal... Okay, the, the voice lines are getting cut off because I remember that line at the very least. Fine. Being finished. Tell me what you want me to do and don't waste my time. Listen, princess. Look, I just want something to eat. So just tell me what you want to do. Just follow those green lights, princess. You'll see. I think the game might be running a bit too fast, maybe. I'll try to fix that if possible before the next stream, but we've had enough interruption for now. Yeah, uh, so far I'm very impressed by the game. I just need to tone down the mouse. Steep ramp, the huh? There's a door at the bottom. When you hit the switch at the top, it'll open, but only for a few seconds. To keep pests out? Or in. Depends. Anyway, the only way to get down there fast enough is to ski. You know how to ski, right? Of course, tribal. What they mean by skiing is, well, if I could find the button for a third person mode, because that should be in here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? I'm not seeing it at the moment. Ski, jump. Yeah, Go down. I'm, I'm oh, talking that, about... That. Uh, you should be able to go into third person with this game. Oh yeah, skiing is... It basically, it's air skiing. All of the suits in the tribes games come equipped with... Uh, yeah, a sort of <laughs> hoverboards for boots. Which means that if you can keep... You can basically just slide around all you want. And it's one of the key features to... Well, staying in... <laughs> Staying in motion. Huh. Not bad for one of the elite. It's not like I get all hot and salty thinking about jump jets. My family power skis the Mendelian Alps every season. You should try it. I'll have to see if I can squeeze it into my schedule. But yeah, it's also an easy way to get yourself killed if you're going too fast at something. Oh, yeah, the dear. elevator will take you up. But I just skied <laughs> down. Well, that's a real existential crisis you've got on your hands there, princess. Just do it. Uh, yeah, elevator. How do you tribesmen down. live out here? It's disgusting. Well, we were hoping for a nice spot next to the Imperial Palace. But your daddy didn't so much go for that. Uh, yeah, this place is quite a shithole that they dropped Another off ramp? Practice makes perfect. Hit the switch and get through the door. There we go. You can steer side to side a bit while you're skiing, but mostly you're dependent on the uh, environment. And of course you can force correct a bit with the uh, jetpacks. Nice work, but don't stop there. You've got a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting more impressed, but also confused for this doesn't feel like one of the good games where you feel like everyone would be talking about it, but it's pretty unknown game for me. Yeah, like like I said, it's unavailable in online stores and such, and uh, I don't know specifically when, but this game was abandoned by its developers now quite what? Easy. Just use your jets to get to each one of the checkpoints in any order. And keep your eyes open. 
eyes open for what? You've got a bit of a pest problem. Now get moving. But oh, I mean, boss. When growing up, I feel like this would be a game where everyone, uh, people would talk, would talk about, like between kids and such. To Name one. <sighs> but you always go and ruin it for yourselves. The Empire had no choice but to restrict you to certain planets. After all, as you yourself continue to prove, tribesmen are dirty, greedy, violent. If you grew up in this place, how do you think you would have turned out? Good point there, doesn't he? Doesn't he have? Yeah. Come on, princess. Checkpoint to checkpoint. Okay, I can't stand here just to recharge the jetpack a bit. But yeah, I this game just seems. I'm, I'd have to check what other games came out around this time. But yeah, it. Uh, You'd think... Uh, Could you maybe hurry it up a little? Yeah, Daniel, shut up or we're sending you back to the Stargate command. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we are still watching Stargate. Get a move on! Oh. These points don't check themselves. I, I heard something. I think something was supposed to run by this thing here. We missed by getting turned around. Yes, there is also fall damage in this. What was that at the end there? Since when am I part snake? No idea! Last one should be up here. I know your port would. Checkpoint's complete. Well done. When will this end? Uh, tribal? What's that noise? Sounds like you may have stirred up some friends. Don't worry, they're not dangerous. Unless you're, say, a person. Yeah, these are those glow rats. I don't think we actually get to see many of these throughout the game. But still, let's just move on because we might have a lot of health, but we don't have a lot of weaponry. But for this oversized dagger. Hey, okay, I got a little bit disappointed. But the way it was sounding, I expected something bigger. Well, they are as big as a person, and there is a lot of them. Hey, you made it. I was starting to worry about you there. Those things could have killed me, you idiot! Yes, and that's why I've got something that you can use to kill them. Head to the end of the corridor. Time to clean a little house. See, now you're armed. So if you could just climb to the top of the silo, that'd be great. What's the catch? Well, the silo is where the Glorax have been nesting. I'm sure you'll do fine. <laughs> And yeah, now we're freaking pest control. Yeah, they look like a sort of mixture between a dog and a mantis. See? Kinda. Got a lot of ragdolls. Big oversized dog. Which... The heck is with that? <laughs> the hell was what that three with that ragdolling? Went all over the fucking place. Ugh. Away with you. Okay. Have a wonderful time! Yep. <laughs> so we're we disrupting with the ragdolls all of a sudden. Okay. Big table. I kind of. Did you say the developers abandoned this game early on? Yeah, I don't know exactly how quickly, but that's, the, what, that's what I've read in the uh, community stuff. Because, like I said, this game isn't available online anymore, but it's, it still has an active community where you can just download the game for free. With actual patches and such. Huh. 
Hmm. So I, I'll need to double check if I'm actually playing that fan patched version or my original retail version. You made it. Good for you. Oh, that... This is a friend of mine. You're gonna help him out. You know, I think I'm about done with you. I'm just starting with you. Out here, you can practice your skiing and jetting all day. While you're at it, be a pal and activate the recalibration system in each comm tower. Let's go, Imperial! I accidentally hit Z, Z, like in zero. Oh dear. Oh yeah, now you can see the ski boots light up as well. And the whole trick with mobility in this Remember game... Remember what I said about landing on smooth inclines and not bumping into things? You're gonna need to move fast now. Yeah, I don't think you said Good that. Good job. Uh, get to the next tower. It would help if I knew where I was going. If you want to get the lay of the land, check out your command map. What's this? Not too useful. Probably more useful in multiplayer so we can coordinate. Of course, more useful in player. I kind of like that you can switch between first and third person. From a downward slope to an upward one. Like Danny was trying to tell. How did I end up in this place with these morons? You know, I can hear you, and I'm all that stands between you and a grisly death. Look, if you're interested in money, I imagine my father will pay handsomely. Feed me in the next five minutes, and I'll see he pays more. I'll keep that in mind. For now, on to the next tower, if you please. <laughs> if, unless he's going to interrupt me again, uh, you want to go. You want to go down steep inclines and fly off before, well, before you start losing speed. That way you can preserve your speed and keep going and be a much harder, much harder target to hit. Not bad, princess. You're shaping up better than I expected. Sorry to not disappoint you, tribesmen. One more tower to go. Come on, move it. Okay, when you get to... Wait. Uh-oh. What? Tell me. Pick up the pace. There might be trouble. Are we in danger? Every day. If I recall correctly, if you manage to get enough speed and hit the water at a low enough angle, we'll actually skip over it. Like a stone. Nice! I am very impressed with this game. You can see why I enjoyed it so much back in the day. There we go, spin fuser. And yeah, now we have uh, more friends. There's a bunker under the first tower. I'll be there with help as soon as I can. Go! What is this you brought me, Daniel? A snack. I see you haven't forgotten how to twirl the old mustache, Seti. What do you want? You have your little jokes. Someday I will Daniel. For now, I'll take this one as a down. Ah! Hey, I don't belong to him. And I don't belong to you, tribal. Uh, you saw me do it there. For His name is Seti. Bad breath, bad personality, bad moves. Yeah, you can sort of rocket jump as well, using your own explosions to propel yourself forward at the cost of health. Okay. But yeah, these are the bloody days. They're going to be uh, fun. You caught in the crossfire. I'm doing my best. Blood Eagle. I'm not super surprised that I took inspiration from the Blood Ravens or Blood Angels. A Warhammer. You reach the tower. Get inside and lay low. Uh, yeah, as you can see, just walking around makes you a sitting duck. So that's why you want to keep moving, skiing, and jetpacking all over the place. Yeah, that's... Oh yeah, let's get inside. What I interest me in this game, it sounds like a game I would not be able to handle as a kid, or today even. And there we go. Way 
Wait. Don't, don't shoot. Hmm, I like your eyes. Blue. Very imperial. Your armor is not captured, is it? I have seen you before, but where? Where? Sorry about that, Sunshine. If I'd known Seti was gonna show, I never would've put you out there. Don't hit me, and I won't hit you, Princess. I have a name. I do, too. Victoria. Daniel. Victoria, can I interest you in some lunch? I thought you'd never ask, Daniel. Okay, yeah, there's some obvious sound, you know, audio tracks that are off. <laughs> the shotgun sound and such were off. Oh, Blood Eagle caps again! Yeah. For the first time, injuries have kept the Imperial captain out of the action. Without Princess Julia, it seems the Imperials can't buy a flag. Is there no stopping these tribals? Can I play too? Yeah, suddenly future, uh, or rather the present again. Welcome to round two, ladies and gentlemen. The flags have been removed and four territories have been placed in the arena. The Imperial team must capture all four territories to win. Now to capture a territory, the Imperial players must clear the enemies from around the territory marker and stay close to it until it switches teams. Now don't forget, respawning has been enabled so that when a player is knocked out of play, they will be instantly returned to their starting position. What? Critical error. Did it crash? Uh, yep. Uh, let's see. CPU, genuine. Da, da, da. Okay, that didn't happen before. Hmm. I can't read from the button. I can't read from the error message what just happened. Hmm. Okay. Uh, here's hoping that it auto-saved. If that, if that was audible, that ping here, it says... Uh, it's, it, because this game is old, it doesn't fully recognize all of the stuff. So it, it says that there's insufficient system resources, even though, well, I have more than plenty. It's just that... The uh, in-game detection system can't recognize them, but it also notes that this it it might uh, it actually does say this it, if this you know, that it might be too old to be recognizing it. So uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so, I'm again? so far, but oh, oh come on! What the, uh, the fire button is stuck. Yeah, okay, I, maybe I can see why they abandoned early on. Like they, they made impressive work, but it may not been too stable. Sturdy. Yeah, it might not been stable enough for, for the long run. Probably why they are fan patches. Our pod, it, it can't take off. The release clamps must be stuck. The what? Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, we'll it, have to read this. You can't get out. Then. You have to get yeah, to the this, observation booth this and This is uh, actually. Like, okay, Olivia, I'm on my way. Issue, yeah, but Victoria, it, the pod. This didn't it's happen launching. while I was testing no the game. Dodge. Wait! No, wait! We'll come back for you. Hold on. Wait! Don't. Well, the arrows are like it can be random. True. And it also Morning. means that we'll have to save periodically, just to be certain, though. Fine. Yep. Tell if even. Let's see, is there a quick save? 
Uh, hmm. Tell me what you want me to do, and don't waste my time. Okay. Listen, princess. Five. Look, I just want something to eat. So just tell me what you want. Steep ramp, huh? Okay, There's we'll a door at the bottom. When you hit this. the switch at the top, it's it'll open, as we can. but only for a few seconds. To keep pests out? Huh. Not bad for one of the elite. It's not like I get all hot and salty thinking about jump jets. My family power skis the Mendelian Alps every season. You should try it. So I'll have to see if I can squeeze it. That elevator will take you up. But I just skied yeah. down. How do you tribesmen live out here? It's a sky. That's for a bit lower the speech. Busting. Well, so we were hoping for a nice like spot next to the much. Imperial Palace. But your daddy didn't so much go for that. Yeah. Okay, see one Another there. Another ramp? Practice makes perfect. Hit the switch uh, and again, get through the door. I like this game so far. I'm very impressed, but the error you mentioned that is instantly concerned. Like, in some games, it's easier to save often, but this one... This one feels like it could be e a very tricky to be able to quickly save. Nice due to e don't stop there, you've got a lot of ground to cover. It, uh -oh. It's a game with a lot of act uh, almost non-stop action, ain't it? Yeah. If, if that gate had, if, if that gate or the previous one had closed before we have reached it, you know, we, before we reached them, we, why, why can't I speak today? We would have had to go all the way back up ourselves. Oh. Now what? Easy. Just use your jets to get to each one of the checkpoints in any order. And keep your eyes open. Eyes open for what? We've got a bit of a pest problem. Now get moving. I'll, I'll check around in the settings if I can stabilize things more. Oh, no crack crap. There are plenty of planets that uh, allow tribesmen to immigrate. I'll look at that uh, fan one. version, which, which hopefully is stuff like this passed out. The Empire had no choice but to restrict you to certain planets. After all, um, as you yourself continue to prove, yeah, that should be more are stable, dirty, greedy, least. violent. If you grew up in this place, how do you think you would have turned out? For now, let's just try and get through this as quickly as possible. Do a bit of speed running. <laughs> Want to call it that? Come on, princess. Checkpoint to checkpoint. Oh, I missed one here. There it is. Need to wait for the power of it. To be done here. Yeah, I, it is a good game, but it, it is also an old game. So, well, Techno Mage was also old. I had less fun with that. A yeah, the, that one wasn't uh, really like this one. It was simpler, so it was also a lot simpler to run. Yeah, a bit slower and all that. This one is, yeah, very impressive and all that, but also Get a move on. very this much about speed. Uh, yeah, like I Ugh. said, it, <laughs> there was one over there. And then the last one here again. Uh, one other thing that I changed was less. Uh, I, well I reduced the amount of movement that the uh, VTuber mod, uh, that my mod can uh, make or can do. I'll check around with that some more. Uh, as well. Tribal? What's that noise? Sounds like you may have stirred up some friends. Don't worry, they're not dangerous. Unless you're, say, a person. Uh, it does mean that I can focus a bit more on getting through quickly without having to rely, without having to slow down for the game, for the story bits. Okay. Hey, you made it! I was starting to worry about you there. Those things could have killed me, you idiot! Yes, and that's why I've got something that you can use to kill them. See, it's now you're armed. So if you could just climb to the top of the silo, that'd be great. What's the catch? Yeah. Well, the silo is where the blood. Uh, sure I was to say. Right, I was to say I just wanted to talk, finish talking. 
the voice acting is very good. Yeah. I, I would have downloaded it because it sounds normal. Like, it's actually good that they didn't notice it. It's not overacted, it's not underacted, it's, yeah, it's good. Indeed. I, I don't really recall if there are any characters that have particularly bad voice acting. But yeah, I guess, I think this game was uh, what in the back in the days you could call a triple A game. When triple A, well, just meant a very good game and not just over worked over high stuff and such. Hmm. Wait. You made it. I think I may have recognized it a bit now. This is a friend of mine. No? You're gonna help him out. You know, I think I'm about done with you. I'm just starting with you. Out here, you can practice your skiing and jetting all day. Yeah, you While can't you're talk at, over be a pal and activate the recalibration system in each tower. Let's go, Imperial. Weird. It's e yeah, it's easy to hear myself talk without us, uh, them talking. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I think I may have seen a picture of this in a gaming magazine. Like Remember me. what I said about landing on smooth inclines and not bumping into things? You're gonna need to move fast. You do now. have to stop at each of these to hit the console. Yeah, uh, the game magazine was not mine, but uh, was a friend's, so I might see it there. Where I was going. If you want to get the lay of the land, check out yeah, your command. Let's try and get a bit of speed. Uh, again, I don't think that I I had this game installed for quite a bit already before. Uh, I installed it along with Technomage and two others in preparation for it while streaming them eventually. Try and spot place. So I don't actually remember what uh, if I if I installed Yo, a fan patch, but I presume you. I did because I do not recognize that third bar and a grizzly over there. Look, Even if Daniel's if you're interested in money, I imagine my father will pay handsomely. Well, down Feed me in the next five minutes and I'll see he pays more. I'll keep that in mind. I definitely don't recognize it. For now, it's, it's on to the next armor. tower, if you please. That could, that could be a sign of a fan that I insulted back then and forgot about. Sorry to not disappoint you, tribesmen. One more tower to go. Come on, move it. Okay, when you get... Wait. Uh, pick up the pace. There might be trouble. Are in danger? Actually, something I just noticed. The heat sink, well, heats up. I wonder, what the hell is that pulley thing for on the chain gun here? Oh. The what now? Uh, the leftmost part of the model. It looks, it looks like a, a thing used to rev up a, <laughs> a lawnmower. Okay, yeah, that's a good question. Well, it ambushed again. And we just get the hell out. But we have plenty of health to just tank the hits. I think I've had an idea what it is for. Tribal? It isn't for What's speed. <laughs> We're spinning this thing up. Almost. I think like. I think it's meant for like if, if the spinning stops, like it got a bit yammed. It might be to unyam it. Should be. Out of the debris. Hey. Yeah, ticks or ping noises. That's what I was talking about earlier. Hey, oh, uh, yeah, it, yeah, I found that a bit weird. Like, sure, it's good for hit confirmation, just. Yeah. Clicking sound is probably not the first thing that comes to mind. You've reached the tower. Get inside and lay low. No. So in this game, I guess it makes sense considering how high speed it is. 
Yeah, you want to know if you hit your target or not. Okay, back to this. Skip this again. And hopefully it doesn't crash again. We do have a save just in case. Welcome to round two, ladies and gentlemen. The flags have been removed and four territories have been placed in the arena. The Imperial team must capture all four territories to win. Now to capture a territory, the Imperial players must clear the enemies from around the territory marker and stay close to it until it switches teams. Yeah, this part now, is forget, basically explaining how, so yeah, how capture the flag and other game modes in multiplayer work. Crash again. Okay, what the... Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Function, gameplay, character, get raider. Runaway loop detected. Okay. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, let me... Hmm. An... Okay. I'm a bit worried. If this be probably the... Second game we be forced to abandon, but this one will probably abandon with sadness more like uh, one of the Monkey Island games we had to abandon. I don't think we'll need to do that. I think just something is up with the files that uh, that I had to change because I tested I tested the game for quite a bit and I got to that area as well. I think. But, or maybe I just stopped right before that. I, hmm. Oh, wait, did you test it after you got the new motherboard and all that? Uh, nope. Well, that might be, that might have a part with it, but everything else after I swapped out uh, the motherboard worked as well. So it would be odd. Uh, let's yeah, see. Yeah, then this again, the that I changed. it is a very old game, as you said, and it is very speedy. Let's see. So I'm guessing it uh, might uh, not be used to a system, a new computer system that is so spe must speed on itself that it goes a bit haywire. Yeah, it could be. I'll, I'll test. I just changed. I yeah, With one of the files, I removed a line, which I now put back in. It was pretty simple. So let's see if that possibly caused a crash. I very much doubt it. It might be something else. Okay. Hmm. Welcome to. Oh, I... I'll watch you back. Okay. It could be that we, it just didn't crash because we skipped there. Good work. We're now capturing the territory. Yeah, it Stay close might have been a corrupt cutscene. Could be. No, at least this is a less important cutscene since it was just more a yeah, cutscene for a tutorial for a, not a story mode. Yeah. Also, we're in I'll light armor now. Guard this territory. <laughs> Missed all the fireworks. Go. Go. Uh, yeah, this is basically uh, Call of Duty's con uh, basic mode, or not Call of Duty, yeah, Battlefield's basic mode, where you, you have to capture points. Gotta get rid of them. <laughs> 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 Uh, ragdoll physics and jetpacks that stay on after the target is dead. That's what that was. I... Oh no. Mm. I think this is probably the only game I've seen ragdolls could be in combination with spinning jetpacks. Yes. Okay, it's not much of fire. What's it over? As it is. It's also awesome. But I also can consider this probably the only game I heard seen that does it. Might it's also be a bit of concern. Wait, what, what do you say? Uh, Jetpacks and such can be annoying to program since they 
have to deal with all the speed and such. Uh... Yeah. This might cause the problems for the program. Go. Uh, let's hope it was that one cutscene. We're just going to have to suffer through a few rounds of this. The Imperials still trail the Blood Eagles 8 to 4 at the start of this <laughs> next round. It doesn't look like the Imperials at all. The Imperials have advantage this time around. They now hold all four territories and simply need to hold on to them until the round ends in order to win. But the Blood Eagles on the attack. That's easier said than done. Ain't the beagle a dog? Yep. <laughs> they say blood eagle, but it's spelled at one point beagle. Come on, where yes. are you? A bunch of tribals? But yeah, now we are on the defense with this. So where the hell are they? There's one of them. Getting, getting hits with the spin, or getting direct hits with the spin fuser is quite a challenge, especially if your target's in the air. Hmm. And I guess that voice line was wrong because it makes it sound like all the other characters were already counted. Nice work, Julia! Not so tough in a fair fight. I gotta say, I like the try. I, I like the Blood Eagles' armor. No, you don't. A lot of the game is very, well, very nice looking. Are you using your command map and radar to keep an eye on everyone's position? It's the best way to see what's going on. It, immediately, as I check out the map to, to see where the hell they might be. Let's see, I saw him just... Almost. Uh, yeah, we can zoom out the, uh, the mini-map with eight. I saw that in the controls. And I think we actually skipped over the water there for a bit. But it might just be shallow. And I don't think we've actually been regenerating half at any point, except for the start. So it might have been just a one-time thing. The best, the best way out to get damage with the spin fuser is to go for indirect damage. Since a direct hit is very unlikely unless they're literally standing still like that. Ooh, we're almost down. We can just pick up... Everyone seems to be dropping health kits, so let's just pick them up when we can. Oh, ow, that one went straight in the head. Okay, I think that one is next to boost. Here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And we have the blaster or the shotgun as our third again. We didn't use this one earlier, so I'll just throw it. Easy. Nice work, Julia. Looks like we have to go for an actual full timer with this, with four minutes still to go. Okay. Still coming here, okay. We can see our enemies' health when our yeah, when our crosshairs meet them. <laughs> But since they need, since everyone tells to move around so much, it doesn't well, stay visible for long. Oh, oh, that's it. Uh, uh, some of this does remind me of Warhammer 40k a little bit. Chunky armor and such, you mean? Yeah. 
Uh, it might be coincidental to you or maybe Scott and Inspiration like they bought Lord Eagles, uh, Jetpacks and Armor Style. Makes me think of Eldari Warp Spiders. Okay. They, they also have those huge Jetpack packs. Do they, I think they use them more for Jetpacking and, uh, well, Warping from spot to spot. Forgotten that the shots of the blast are actually ricochet. Wait, okay, that they might take an inspiration from the Unreal Tournament, like for the flat cannon. Could be. This game is running in the same engine as Unreal 2, I think. That would explain a lot. The reason I know that is there's a, a file among these called Unreal 2. So maybe it means one the engine. Maybe not, so I'm not sure. Probably the engine. Probably the engine, otherwise they'd probably be in a lot of trouble. But graphically this game does look very similar to how Unreal 2 works. And I think we should give that game a try someday as well. It's not, people don't really like it, but uh, I don't dislike it. Is it due to story or what? Uh, more, it doesn't really measure up compared to uh, well, the legendary Unreal 1. Ah. Expectation, perhaps. Oh, pain is gonna sit still for that. I'm kind of forgotten about this territory here, but we can capture that. So they are headed for that territory, so we'll have to rush after them. So as long as we hold all four, we should be safe. And it is only like less than a half, a uh, minute and a half now. Oh wait, okay, we need to hold our four, okay. That's something I didn't know before. So as long as they don't capture another one now, we, yep, we should be safe. Still, I'm going to check this one in case the beast needs to get okay, our defender is there. And like it said at the start, respawning is on, but I'd rather not have to respawn leave these jackasses with enough time to capture, uh, to capture a territory. Some of our weapons have included ammo, as you might have noticed. Right, and there are little markers in the corner, even though we have how tiny they are. But most do still have well, ammo limits. The blaster is supposed to be a bit of a, yeah, emergency sidearm as well, thing. <laughs> Jumping into those. There we go. I do like that bit. It's it's like in the Oh come on, error again. Let's see, what does it say this time? Yeah, ta -da -da -da. Mm. Okay, there's a bunch of errors now. So it can't have been just that one line that I changed. Hmm. So it is unstable. Yeah, I'll I'll in I'll install that fan patched version after this stream for next time, whenever that might be. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, but for now, let's see if we can still finish this off. We will have. I I should have hit the save button at the end there, but it, it's it's only two and a half minutes to that three to now. Now we know that they're going to do this. He sent that one flipping. Oh, 
this again. This one is only crushed by the cutscenes. Yeah. This makes me wonder if there's something. There's a problem with the cutscenes or something. Maybe. Again, I'll install the fan cut version, which should be more stable. The progress bar is shown on this. Oh, I can see contested, so it's not it's not moving now. Okay. So now we're going to have to be generous with the quick saves and be careful with what the cut seems. Hurt. I, I knew I heard a wave there. Be a bit concerning for, but again, do we have to abandon Monkey Island, uh, the one the, the earlier 3D one? That, that that was a bit giving us a little bit of a headache. Uh, it wasn't it's just a headache; it was just constant issues with this. We can yeah. catch up again quick enough. Yeah, but uh, as was to say, yeah, that. That one wasn't that big, the big issues that we knew we were to get unwood with other things with it. It wasn't that it was a big problem to abandon it. That we knew we were sparing ourselves. But this one... This one will be a bit sad. For, here's a lot of potential. Yep. And um, well, I'll, I'll give a bit of a spoiler. The, the story in this game is good. <laughs> I don't call that a spoiler. The rules of this round are simple. The territory markers have been removed and replaced with a fuel depot for each team. The arena has been filled with fuel canisters. The players must collect as many fuel canisters as possible and bring them back to their depot. It's definitely something in the cutscenes that's causing this. Uh, yeah, runaway loop again. Actually, let me... Let me see if this is a recurring issue where uh, that other players have. Um, so maybe you can put in a quick fix. Otherwise, we might have to call it a bit early on this. Let's see. Tribes, Vengeance, uh, to the, to the Run Away Loop. Uh, to the, to the crash. <laughs> This time when I got to the arena first mass and it crashes, I go to continue, there's no autosave in there. Okay, so the game is supposed to have autosaves, I think. Uh, yeah, runaway loop here, same issue. It happens after a match before it. Uh, port loads the charm. Let's see, patch 1.1 was cancelled by Sierra. Uh, there's no need for a walkthrough. Um, hmm. Sierra, the company Sierra. Yep. Uh, they That's the company the recognized from this, I believe. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's another post here. Um. Let's see. Okay, it's a. Uh, Hmm. What? There's there is uh, a solution sent set here, but it's a pretty simple one. It's to add uh, dash runaway to the uh, shortcuts uh, target uh, field. It's where you can put in uh, dash windowed to make a game run in windowed mode or to force it. I'm guessing. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that means that it should order the program to not 
uh, exit itself if it finds a runaway program or something. Hmm. We'll have we'll have to see if that works. We we saved close enough to the transition. It seems, from what I saw, it only happens in the arena matches for some reason. But if you only arena matches, then... Yeah. Yeah, once we threw them, we don't need to worry again. And plus, this game is just too much fun to, for me to give up this early. Because this was the first game, or maybe the second? I'll have to check. Uh, this was the first game where I think I got into modding a bit. Modding? Well, not really modding, but more side stuff. Just Extra skins and such. The Imperials are making an amazing Custom skins. <laughs> the bullying Julia in the corner. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, come on. That didn't say fix it. Um, hmm, let me look this over again. Uh, it's a runaway console, runaway, yes, that's in there. Hmm. We may run into this additional pro problem, but that's a dead link. Oh, no. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. uh patcher utility? Wait. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. just to download and the V3. Wait. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is this the same one? History 3 of the nodes FF frame, whatever that means. Call function. Weird. Hmm. Yes, it's a. Uh... And you recognize the processor, you recognize the video card, so it's not a problem there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely need... I, I hope that fan... Uh, the fan-patched version has fixes for all of this stuff. Because it didn't crash on the outro there earlier. Hmm. We can just sit here. They can't do it. <laughs> they might be able to kill us, but we'll still respawn and win because they can't win this spawn. That's time. That's time. Okay, skipping it for a certain uh, to be uh, yeah to be sure. That. You going to freelance, Julia? Watch and learn. We'll guard the depot. Bring the fuel back to the depot as fast as you can. Yeah, as it is. If the rest of the game is flawless, then yeah, this will be good keep sense. Yeah, I don't think this really be related to the story exactly. Yeah, this is just tutorial stuff. And um, yeah, this game mode is similar to. Uh, like kill confirmed in Call of Duty. Just go grab a bit go grab a thing and bring only the pin kill confirmed you just have to Okay, that was loud. Uh, you just have to go collect the thing for yourself. Here you just need to bring it back. And they're using the grenade launcher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in normal you, uh, mode, you have to pick them up if you gather them in much smaller quantities. That's why it's giving just a sharp sound there, because you're basically picking up like five of these things at once. Yeah, that they, sh they should have lessened that sound some. can just basically ignore them. And, okay, just, the water is just, just shallow. That's the thing here with it. We weren't going fast enough to escape. Wow. 
it's not really painful, it's just an annoyingly sudden noise. It sounds fine on my end, but again, I'm... Probably having a bit more stable volume compared to you. Probably. And yeah, normally I believe... Normally the other team would also be collecting these. But yeah, again, it's a tutorial, so the bloody is now at 50%. They literally can't because they don't actually have a deep row. things to respond. Uh, whilst we wait for that, um, are they going to respawn or not? Uh, this game was probably one of the first where I got into the multiplayer for quite a bit. And I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that I was amazing at it or anything, but I was I was a, <laughs> a good annoyance in it to uh, the other team. Um, I remember one moment during all of that, even though it was over a decade ago, probably close to this over 15 years back or something. Uh, but I was in a multiplayer game of Capture the Flag, and I was being a little pissed by just sniping at the enemy's uh, base. It was a rather small map. Uh, so I was just being a little, uh, I was just being a little prick by sniping at the uh, their uh, flag point because it was out in the open. And at one point, I know that I I get the notification that our flag has been stolen. So I'm I'm just sitting there, you know, ready for the guy to show up and to try and take a pot shot in with the sniper rifle. And then I notice him. I, I believe if you get the flag here, you you are you do become visible on the map. So if that is a correct memory, I I remember seeing that guy coming on the yeah, I, I see when they're coming in on the map. So I knew what way they were coming from. So I started looking that way, and I I see the guy coming in at high speed, and I take a random shot at him. And, oh, Well, what sound do you have? <laughs> I, I just took a random pot shot at the guy because he was just going way too fast. And I managed to hit the headshot him just before he got to the freaking map, uh, to the flag. <laughs> so he must have been fucking pissed off as all hell. I can't imagine that. Uh, but they still got the... Scored after that, but still. I just asked, should we skip that? Yeah, I, I just hit the escape button. Well, uh, you want okay, to slow. Yeah, we're just going to skip these for <laughs> now, or until we get to in, to something of importance again. Yeah, like. I, the story for the, this is a tutorial for the multiplayer. And that depot. Another fuel round coming up, but this time there are no fuel cells in the arena. You're the expert on the subtleties of this round. Why don't you give the fans some insight? This round, the teams must steal fuel from the opposing team's depot. To do this, the players must stand under the enemy depot. The longer they can remain there, the... Holy moly! It looks like the Beatles are going for the heavies this round! Those big boys may put a dent in the plans of the Princess of Pain. We'll distract the enemy depot. Do quick runs and we'll have this round. Right. Don't... I heard something. Uh, my mouse was outside the game there, but it didn't crash this time. Sorry about that. Maybe, maybe that's some. What did I accidentally open there? Oh, I accidentally opened up the display uh, settings. How did that happen? Okay, stealing fuel. 
I'm not sure if I've actually ever played this in actual multiplayer. Oops, that was a close call. Well, yeah, simple enough. Just steal what they have, protect what you have. It, it's basically a like capture the flag, but with a lot of flags. So we just have to do a few runs back and forth. I think something else or something. That is not odd. But do you expect the Imperials to have the most, the most high-tech and sleek designs, correct? Ooh, this is too uh, typically easy. that is the case. Nice work, Julia! But so far it seems the Blood Eagles and the other tribals have a more sleek and smoother uh, high-tech designs than the Imperials. The, the, the Imperials are the most technologically advanced, I believe so, but yeah, their fashion designers are behind it. Going to die in one more hit. Can we use this? No, it's not, it, we can't. It's there, so we can't use it. <laughs> we got a bit more heal along, but. Unless it means one or two miles. It might be due to the supposed to be easy to mass produce, but. The Imperial uh, Depot we... just hit 75% capacity. They've only got a bit to go to take this round. Mm. Oh, yeah, it could be mass production stuff. Yeah, but at the same time... Yeah, but at the same time, you... It do seem to be able to... You should be able to have machines to do the parts more smoother. They just don't have, they just prefer boxy like that. Well, you feel you want to, you to have a smoother sense it, well, a smoother round your circle will be easier to flex. Yeah, but they already have like sort of energy shields with this. That's what most of the uh, health comes from, I believe. It, Olivia said so, something about energy shields earlier. Okay. okay. It could be part. It could be that the armor is more just uh, containment oh, for the energy it's shield. as painful as it looks. I think I remember something about the uh, to sense something, but I'm, uh, the memory isn't clear enough. Yeah, try to send this only move, only multiplayer, so it, do it doesn't have any lore and such at all, which is one of the reasons why he didn't like it at all. Okay, and hey, hey I was to suggest maybe you could play it, but if it's only multiplayer, then yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, to go from a game with a great story like this to one with no story at all, just I think Tribes Ascent still is played today, mm -hmm. uh, it's just not for me, just... yeah. as, as much as I enjoyed the multiplayer of this, the story was what got me into this first and foremost. Yeah, but it is it is. You can go from story to multiplayer, like on the tournament and all that, and for the tournament was basically just a spin-off game uh, to the real game, but it's a lot of games got more popular. I thought I should have been using that thing a lot more. But yeah. Again, Unreal Tournament and Unreal Series had the benefit of they had a few games to begin with. Or and that game which makes sense. Yeah, and in for tribe's sake, I would say maybe a Ascend Ascension was probably a bit a spin off a bit too early. There were there were tribes games before this. I know I own at oh, thank you for that. Uh, I own at least tribes two. I think Vengeance here is technically tribes three. Wait, but what? I yeah, I don't know what or if I, 
I know that Trash 2 has a campaign, but I never got it to work. Mostly because, uh, yeah, mostly all attempts of me playing that game were just, yeah, me starting it up, spawning in, and instantly getting blown up. <laughs> uh, maybe there's, maybe I'm supposed to do something, but yeah, the game didn't give instructions. So I, I was, I think I was probably supposed to read a manual for something, but yeah, it definitely didn't give a tutorial. Okay, saving and skipping. As fun as the announcers might be, uh, we got a bunch of this. Four, and the score is so, so close. The Imperials trail by only a single point. If they can win the sudden death round, they'll be able to force the game into a tiebreaker. And now it's time for an old classic. No territories, no fuel depots, just good old fashioned kill or be killed. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned frag. You know the rules, sports fans. Last player standing wins. And of course, respawning has been disabled. No second chances in this round. And there he goes Of course. Again. But, yeah. La next round is just plain old deathmatch. So it does make me wonder a bit how they don't... Oh yeah, it's definitely 2004 because it's in the copyright number there. <clears throat> I do gotta wonder how the respawn systems work in this. Because, well, they're kind of not saying a thing about that, other than that it exists. If it use the Unreal Engine, probably the same way. And so you have a short timeout. Uh, more how it works in universe. Oh, these people are getting shot all over. It, it could be that. Uh, that all you got. It could be that these weapons have been Ooh, uh, mo so modified, easy. that they aren't actually lethal, mostly, and that their armor just locks on. They their health points get reduced to low. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no de decapitations and such. Yes, teleported away. Probably something like that. Now that's what I'll go with for now, unless there's anything extra about that. But the respawn system doesn't show up any further in the game beyond this part. We might have missed the line about Julia going solo on this again. Oh. And that's a game over. And the Princess of Pain is handed a mouthful of dirt! Oh, Julia's down! Julia is down! Oh, we can still move the camera. Yeah, <laughs> that's a game over. Because, yeah, we kind of need to win every one of these rounds. And I forgot the quick save at the start. Okay. But basically, Julia on her own versus all of these. And yeah, like it says on the screen there, those little pants on the floor, those are catapults to... Well, catapults. Anyone with a basic gaming knowledge knows what those are and can do. I gotta keep picking up the health kits. I probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have uh, challenged that heavy to a spitting game at all, because he has a lot more health than I. Do. Actually, I don't think he does. But, well, we're playing. Like, we're playing the main attack. Of course, we have more health than them. Yep, and I just. Still not a good idea. Yeah, I just realized. Uh... Uh, something about the name Blood Eagle. Yeah. They are... Um, it's a real thing! No? It's... But it's not a bird! Uh, what is it then? 
Um, do you see the mark? The, the symbol? Yeah, looks a bit like a spider. It's not supposed to be a spider. Ribs. That line's not supposed to be there. Uh, but yeah, last round, captain versus captain. Duo. Yeah. Quick but, save. What I have to say is, it's a execution. I'm gonna kill you. Basically, you tie someone to a rock, you cut the back open, then you s break the ribs, then spread out the ribs along with the organs. Out like a wing with a yeah like wings like a spread eagle. Yeah. Hence the name Blood Eagle. That, that fits perfectly with these guys. Yeah, and when I saw this symbol for that doesn't look at an eagle. Oh, that's those are ribs. Yep. And my memory came back. It's still debated if it was how commonly it was you was done if done at all. For Vikings were accused of doing that to people that really did not like. Yeah, that's a special kind of torture. It... Yeah, dude, it was, on, it made, was only done to Christians. Or make them into angels of sorts. Yeah, or something. I don't remember entire story about it, but I only know. Sort of how it was done, but it was rather not pretty. And it, it was all done when the person was alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy has good aim. And I don't have as good a aim. <laughs> but that was, that was a very good shot of him. Yeah, you down down <sighs> okay, let's hope that Here third time's the charm. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Keeps going to that point. Okay, I just need to be less predictable with my maintenance. Which means I need to twist and turn a lot more. Shoot you. You fall down. Okay. He, he is very good at leading his shots. How do you like that? Okay, that one was just a plain prediction out. Oops, almost. Almost down, but so am I. There, there you are. Oh, oh, got him in the head with the last one, I think. I think I forgot to save. Luckily, this should be the last one. So here's hoping it doesn't crash again on this for some stupid reason. Julia, your injuries are far too serious. Your rage against the tribals is unbecoming. Even on the field, you cannot forget you are an imperial princess. This princess just won. Isn't that what counts? Well, the tribals seem to gain strength with each defeat. That makes them a threat to us. And that is why we must succeed in civilizing them. You can civilize these tribesmen for the good of the Empire, Aunt Olivia, and I'll keep on hurting them for my own reasons. Looking to start a war, Princess? You ever see one of these? The 
tube of the spin fuser is electromagnetically charged. It fires a pretty slow round, subsonic, but not slow enough to outrun, not at this distance. When the charge reaches its target, it explodes with a kill radius of 19 yards. At 40 yards, if you're lucky, you'll probably just be blinded, maybe lose a limb. Fire that thing and you one dead princess. One dead princess, two dead tribals. I like the math. Victoria let her emotions destroy her, Julia. Don't make the same mistakes. My mother was murdered by a tribesman. So tell me, Aunt Olivia. What emotions am I allowed to feel? A situation has developed with the Phoenix tribe. The same Phoenix tribe that killed my mother. I was thinking it might be useful for you to lead a task force to check it out. You see, dear, Aunt Olivia is always thinking of you. So this this is a different character. Yeah, it, it, we have. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, we have Victoria and Julia. Showtime, princess. Are you sure you know how to fire that thing? Why don't you come over, old man? I'll give you a demonstration. Just try not to get killed before you hit the LZ. Just in case, quick saving. And oh. it, it wouldn't be a 2000s game without a turret section. Uh, this, yeah. is, this entire story is meant as a tutorial. A, a big ass yeah. good tutorial. As in, I kind of liked the turrets when I was younger, but yeah, later on they became yeah, rather annoying. Luckily, this part shouldn't take too long. At least, you are one lucky motherfucker. Lucky enough to survive this encounter. Pretty sure we have two explosions like right next to Incoming fighters, knock them out of the sky. You are one dodgy little fucker. I'll just go pick on these instead. And yeah, that's the fighters. Here, on. And they can move in all directions, even backwards. Now, that does make them very maneuverable. By the way, I should both say this. Earlier on, I thought this character here was just uh, the one we played as earlier, just a few years later, not many years later. No, it, it does say 20 years uh, ago. Heavy ground forces ahead. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, Julia is oh, Victoria's daughter, and, well, spoiler, but according to Julia, uh, Victoria gets murdered by a tribesman. No mercy. So, yeah, we'll have to see, or rather you'll have to see, what happens between her and Daniel for things to go that bad. I think we're about most of the way through. Sentry turret, take them out. So I think I remember why I always well, one of one of the reasons, perhaps, that this game uh, that I like this game in a lot of in some ways it's very similar. To Lot of ways, actually. It's very similar to Giant Citizens Pluto. Julia, we've detected anti-aircraft turrets ahead. Uh, yes. You'll have to go on foot and destroy them before our air forces can move in. Copy that. Sensors read that the turrets are to be found at three key locations. And remember, you don't have to tackle those turrets by yourself. I'm with you, Princess. You spot them, I'll bring them down. All right, let's get to work. All right. But you see, it, it does have some similarity to Sinus Gabriel, just looks way smoother and better. Julia, you're at the nav point. This is your stop. Check. Proceeding on foot. Mm. 
Yeah, it, most most uh, singularities is uh, have more death time on that. Some it wouldn't kill you to use yeah. your repair back on that soldier. Fine, just stand still, you big crybaby. Uh, Q. Oh, that's you know from the right. Okay. I thought he was stealing gas from him. <laughs> your repair pack will heal you if you take damage, but it won't bring you back from the dead. I know, I know. I'll be careful. Hey, that's our grenade. Oh dear. There it is. Watch for mobile defenders. I'm gonna find a better position. Their packs will passively heal you over time. But there's different kinds of packs, I remember. I just don't remember what most of them do. Keep these guys off me while I fire. There you go. Okay. Turret is destroyed. That's the first set of turrets taken care of. Are you shooting me in the back? Okay, yeah, I think that might be a bit of friendly fire on me. So I'll have to be careful of that. Okay. Really? Uh, on to the next target. Yeah, I guess I just have a a, a, a bias towards games with jetpack packs and guns. Which is called the Giant being one of those games that I grew up in. I, th I think it was one of the first games I ever played. It uh, also has a lot to do with it. Well, the way first actual games uh, that I played, not the uh, educational stuff. Where are you, Henry? I'm in position! Stand clear! Don't many games struggle with jetpacks to begin with? Yeah, you don't see them often. Yeah, uh, most of the time you see them, it's usually not well liked. Yeah, it is pretty hard to do, and oh, we're back here. I thought I quick skipped at the landing point. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to go deal with. Actually, is this is near. No, it's uh, quite a bit over that place, I think. We'll, we'll just have to redo this bit, then quick save at the landing, and quick save after every objective. Yeah, probably a good idea. And I have to say. Imperial oh yeah, it was 2004, that of course is still gonna have the whole 1980s uh, mech aesthetic. Yeah. So it was... Do we think about it? Yeah, it would be around this time where more sleeker and uh, more fight. Like you saw the Blood Beagle's armor earlier. And these guys' yeah. armor. Yeah, they started to become a bit more popular as well. That little shit is just immune for some reason. I'm pretty sure I hit him multiple times there. Not this one, but the other. Get back to the fighters. Nice shot, princess. The fighters are do look odd, but that's like I said, they're they are they can move they, are, they can move omnidirectionally. Basically a man from Ahead. Give them a pounding. Yeah. Jump thing. You have no claim to this land. Basically, what that means no is that it has mercy. jump jets in the back, so it can move upwards. But there aren't too many vehicles in this game. Here. There's the fighter, there's the, well, the gunship that we're in, the rover that we saw a bit earlier. Jump tank, and I think that's about it for vehicles in this game. Yeah, you can see the pilot right rolling out of the ship you blew up. Yep. Because I say that's a detail most games with a skip. Yeah, typically, typically there isn't even a, a 
model or entity for a pilot. Where they, uh, they just have the vehicle moving around Julia, as a solid thing. Julia, we detected anti-aircraft no turrets ahead. You'll have to go on foot and destroy them before our air forces can move in. Copy that. Sensors read that the turrets are to be found at three key locations. And remember, you don't have to tackle those turrets by yourself. Oh, okay. I'm with you, oh. princess. You spot them, I'll bring them down. All right, let's get yeah. to work. They're like flag rounds. They explode after a certain distance. Okay, yeah. So, so that's why that one specific one seemed immortal, I think. I was just shooting right in Julia, front of the Julia, you're at the nav point. This is your stop. <laughs> Check. Okay. Proceeding on foot. Safe. I'm pretty sure they're used to be auto safe in this game, but they seem to be not working. I do remember dying at some point, I think, but I didn't need to go back to the previous save that I made. Maybe you accidentally turned off auto save? Let's have a quick look for that. Uh, video, not here. And I'm, I'm not actually noticing much of the audios being directional, so might need to turn that back off at some point. Uh, yeah, this is this is not needed at all. Uh, hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'm remembering things wrong, or maybe there's just something off in the game at the moment. We, we can't be sure at this point. Um, so it doesn't really matter too much since we do know it now. I wouldn't kill you to use your repair back on that soldier. Fine, just stand still, you big crybaby. Repair kit, pa repair pack is basically uh, a there it kit is. for you. Watch for mobile and defenders. Out. I'm gonna find a better position. I'm in position. Keep these guys off me while I fire. You move fast. These things will still shoot at us. Even though they're in the air. But we are in the air now. <laughs> Before someone else was going to say that. A lot of you. But how do you design stuff for all the three factions? Because there is just these three. I do like the Phoenix design the most. Oh yeah, it looks very nice. And yeah, I, I just also like that you just have an in-game mod and it isn't just uh, a pair of floating hands and a gun. Yeah, like, some people seem to enjoy first person more for being more immersive, but... Albrecht, confirm I... contact with turret group. I'm moving in. Right, Julie girl. Keep it cool out there. Moving I... into position! Myself, I prefer third person. When I can see the character for that, I feel more immersive or when I can see actually see my own character. But I usually do like also when I have option to go first or third person. Depending on the situation for sometimes you wanna see your character or it's a bit practical to be in one over the other or some situations. I don't remember that ever happening. That animation there, because we are out of spin fuser ammo. And Julie just chucked away the entire <laughs> magazine. Oh dear. Okay, that is a nice armor. I'll need to check if uh, other ammo weapons have that. Yeah, uh, actually, that reminds me. Uh, I heard something. Uh, I saw a YouTube video of you about the YouTuber that thinks Arc 2 will fail just because it does not have third person. Only third person and Dark Souls like system. Uh, that's just dumb. Oops. Yeah, like. I. I don't think it will fail due to that. I, my worries about all two would fail would be other things like clunky or be way more massive than before. 
but no time in first person. Yeah, yeah, I do think that would ruin the game. No animation for putting the clip back in. Come on. Wait, what? Ow. Central indicate you're near another turret. I'm gonna get a better view of those turrets. Where are those? There they are. Out. There they are. Yeah, we definitely should avoid the turrets ourselves. The last turret is down. Okay, time for you to infiltrate their main base. If you get near the entrance, I can patch in through your suit's computer and crack the security codes to get the door open. Also, I did. I just like that you can just mess with the bodies as well after, that they don't respawn or anything. Or not, not when we are looking at least. Ah, uh, there's also no something here. I think the reason the Imperials always make more bold curious, well, it's thicker. That could also be a part of it, yeah? When you don't have as much room for curves and such. Is falling a bit behind because he's in, in in very heavy armor. Okay, uh, quick save, and then we're moving on. <laughs> Hello, tree. <laughs> yeah, trees can be your your arch nemesis when you're trying to. Don't speed forget, up. Julia. I need you to move to the main base entrance. Yes, yes, we're moving towards it, jackass. I wonder if this is a terraform planet for. Yeah, those trees don't look alien to me. It could also be that this is from the time. Too quiet here for my tastes. I'm going to need some time to get that door open. The breach codes are highly encrypted. Imperials, take them out! Still too quiet for you, Princess? Good. Kill those guys while I work on this door. It could also be that this is just from one of those uh, the time when people. Yeah. Science fiction of most worlds that have breathable atmosphere because. Yeah, like. Sure, I can imagine us find an atmosphere on our planet that you can breathe, but that would probably not be common. Yeah. For you, we do that we so we'll probably could breathe, there are probably other things just like uh, bacteria and all the such things. Clear, Julia. Yeah. I'm almost done. Like, this thing is a sample. This, uh, this actually was a done in a series called Terra Nova, where people travel back in time into an alternate Earth. This luckily means they do not mess up their own future. Codes are cracked. Doors and they turn back to Cretaceous period. And I'm waltzing in alone. Yeah, that could uh, be a lot different than today. Yeah, they, they got... Some people had to get a gas mask and get used to the new... General Alert, <laughs> Imperial Forces, security lockdown is now active. Really, but... child? Cleaning out a Phoenix base by yourself? Relax, Auntie. I can handle it. Very well. But remember, your primary goal is the Phoenix Data Archive. Search for any intel on troop movements or supply logistics. Sure thing, Aunt Olivia. And maybe I'll do a little search of my own. Right. And who says, back in the Cretaceous and most of the dinosaur era, the oxygen level was much higher, which helped them grow so damn big. And we are not evolve to handle that like we can after a while handle it just yeah there's it, it, some benefits it, like they, they seriously need to go to the benefits and uh, issues with it just people need a gas some people need a gas bus in the game to get used to it but there are also benefits and bad things about like sure you'll be able to run faster and all that Problem is, you might also, due to me not used to it either, wear out our bodies much faster as well. In on your position. Basically, if you try to live in Cretaceous, you will probably feel healthier, 
for a short while. Yeah, and you keep throwing yourself out. Yeah, like, you, you feel like, you really feel like you'll be able to handle more things much better than that when you get used to it. Problem is, again, it, it's like overclocking a machine, uh, a bike and that. Sure, you'll go faster, but you will likely break the bike after a while. We hit the two hour mark, but let's keep going a little bit longer just because of all the uh, technical issues. Yeah, let's. So, yeah, look. Whenever you see time travel, travel back to the other time, it's way more complicated than it looks. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what were you to say? I accidentally interrupted you. Uh, nothing, right? It's moments. Lies. I'm just trying to think to remember bits. Leave this game. Okay. I think this level might be a bit more open than the others, but I might be wrong. That's right. <laughs> You're killing him. Death zone. No, no, no. He died. To punish. Mid air. So he's. Both legs and arm pointed forward as he flew forward, feet and legs first. And yeah, now we know what that pulley is for. Just for starting this thing up. <laughs> you, you, you literally started up like a fucking lawnmower. Okay. That is a bit weird, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's also funny as all hell. Yeah, the, you kind of wonder why, because all the guns like that we have today don't need that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's to forego the spinning up animation. Like, you know, with mini games and games, you always have to you, know, you always have to keep it spinning a bit before they actually fire. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah. I think that's. I think the pulley, as stupid as it is, is there to skip that. And if there's no animation for it. Julia, but it, it stops spinning be before you can fire anyway. Minutes. You know the drill. Knock out the generators and they'll come down. Attack! We can't let her reach the generator! Enemy squad moving in. Watch your six. Yeah, they can't really have the animation playing in the middle of combat because it would slow things down. But I'm guessing that's the in universe it. reason that thing's there. There's something so stupid about it. You're near the generators. They're not going to make this easy. Easy's no fun. Oh, I walked into that one literally. bad spot here because the high ground also out works in the air so if we're lower than some uh, thing that we're trying to kill they have a big advantage on us Since, well for one they can use explosives to hit us in the, <laughs> in the aoe of it lucky we're down If you're flying up in the air, then they have to get a direct hit on you. If they have nothing that they can get, uh, they can uh, bounce explosions on them. We were kind of talking over it a bit, but now that the generator is down, those barriers uh, should be down. Don't fall back down. There we go. The barriers are down! We can't allow them to reach the archives! Attack! Archives! Alright. 
I'm guessing the reason we want them is well, to find data on other places they put down bases and such. Yeah, this base was put down illegally, so what other bases they have set down as well. So I'm not sure which of the armors I, re I like more, the Phoenix Medium or the Phoenix Light. How does the Phoenix Heavy look? I don't think we've seen those yet. These guys would last about 10 seconds in the arena. They're green, all right. The Phoenix must be unable to field experienced troops. Perhaps they're weaker than we thought. Yeah, I, I talked about it a bit, but the... Yeah, yeah. The aiming sensitivity is a bit higher than I'd like. Julia, your objective should be close. Eyes open. Totally, uh, so I'm totally not missing because I suck or something like that. <laughs> no yeah, it, more. It, it is a little bit higher than I'd like. Oh, grenade launcher. Um, can we swap out? I guess we can swap out blaster. We haven't tried this one yet. So let's see how you look. Okay, we... There is a bit of phasing on the model on the right there. Especially when we fire, but still. Yeah, that's not... Well, we wasted waste most of our rounds, so let's just take the blaster. Oh dear. Um, I have to say this, early on, before new duels were Phoenix Guard or such, and it was also an early pixelator on my end back then, I mistook those for Samus. Samus. Yeah, with the big ass shoulder things. I, I was going to mention that earlier, that they look a bit like the, the Samus' shoulder pads. Yeah, they do the little brown ball nest. Oh. You know what I mean. Yeah. I'm not calling them bald. Uh, they're, they're, they're her shield generators, I believe. Those are actually what is, uh, well, projecting the protective field that keeps her alive. What you use all those energy uh, tanks for. Ah. Okay. an obvious transition point, so quick save. Awfully quiet down here. It smells like an ambush. Watch yourself. Oh, there's the grenade launcher again. So let's swap you out. See how this thing actually works in combat. Oh, apparently I... Okay, that's a bit odd. Uh, mm -hmm. I have the chat program open. Uh, open on the side here and apparently i'm being hosted but that should have that should have been announced on the screen uh, on the stream imperial whore i'll die before i let you touch the archives oh. that can be arranged and there's the phoenix heavy on it <laughs> ow <laughs> just sit there on the freaking floor okay i see it's it is rounder Does it doesn't look as heavy as an Imperial. So I guess this is a bit more sleek and model. But probably not as uh, durable as the Imperial one. There's a turret in the corners. Where are you hidden? Yeah, there. <laughs> bit very sensitive, especially when zoomed in like that. Where are you? Yeah. 
and so quickly right as he shows up underneath me. A little bit more to kill us, apparently. Oh, Julia. I was, I was, I was half expecting them to go for a Metal Gear Solid reference there. Julia? Yeah, yeah, Julia? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Julia! I did as well! I did as well! What's the comment on that? I'm going to chuck off the chocolate clip away as well when I was doing this last one. Get out. Julia? We can just load because we it's going to anyways. Definitely pick that up. There we go. Looks like there's no more tribals to kill. Well done, child. The archives are ours. They sure are. If we can Something about the arm. Julia, what are you doing? Leave their archives for our intelligence. How many of these have you searched, Julia? And for what? A face from your childhood. Your I personal... found you. It's you. I found you, Jericho. Julia's past the Imperial Palace. And yeah, now we're back even further. Mama? Mama? No, 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 this is in between. I Julia, think. taking care of your mother again? Yes, Auntie Olivia, and I'm being good. Of course you are. Stay and play with me. Auntie is very busy. Perhaps later. Julia, I need to speak to your mother. Royal stuff? And smart, too. Run along now. Victoria. What is it, Olivia? Do you not even acknowledge the arrival of your own sister? Sorry, I... I was... thinking... Yes, you do a lot of that since father died. What is it? Something's come up. You're needed in the briefing room. Briefing room? Okay, there was a bit skips there. I think. <laughs> This isn't oh. in the far past, this is in between. Communications dropped out for half an hour last night. Tell me about it. I tried to contact maintenance and my call got shuffled through the kitchens instead. The whole system's going crazy. If communications are compromised, why aren't we yet alert? That was a mortar round. General Albrecht, Time what's the situation? To the Empire. Death to the traitor Victoria! And on that note, uh, we'll have to end the screen here, though. Intruders. They're everywhere. Jericho said no prisoners. Kill them all. Oh. Yeah. I'm guessing a group of the Phoenix uh, went rogue or something. Yeah. Uh, We'll have to see what happens. For now, though, yeah, let's go back to the main menu. Okay, let's just double save, just in case, because you you know sometimes saves just ma mangle themselves somehow. But yeah, that's uh, Tribe's Vengeance. And yeah, just strange that the arena just kept having crashes, because beyond past that, there weren't any. And yes, I've noticed that my cursor has shown up in the cutscenes. I've been moving it into the borders behind it, and for some reason it's still here now, being on the tip of the in game cursor for some reason. Okay. But uh, yeah, for safety, shall I just. If I. I've been trying to download it uh, a few times now, the, uh, the fan patched version of this. Uh, but I don't think the downloads have worked well. But there's something with the website going on. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep trying that. I'll install the, <clears throat> I'll install that version after checking it for viruses and such, of course. 
and next time when possible we'll continue with on on that then all right and um, yeah be, be careful of that like that that is a risk of old games though that you may accidentally find something that's not what it claims to be yeah and yeah for anyone wanting to play this you know, to try this game out the website where you can download it i believe it's called tribes revengeance yes like that metal gear game uh, and if you can't find it by that just google tribes vengeance and you should be able to find it through that because this is a really good game even with the uh, that bit of hassle that it gave us today yeah so uh yes thank you for the host uh shanker crap i believe that is how it's you know, <laughs> how your title is pronounced again i'll need to check up with the bots to see if the host alert should be on so sorry about uh, responding late with that like almost half an hour late with that now uh, sorry about that uh actually might as well go rate them if they are on actually if they're hosting us they're not on <laughs> that kind of solved itself we'll still look for someone to raid but after well thanking everyone so yeah thank you anyone who may have been watching now or later and thank you especially as always look here you're most welcome my friend and yeah i do see some names in the chat box uh, one of those is almost certainly a bot, so I will go check those that name against the known bot list. But for now, uh, let's look for someone to raid. Uh, not myself, of course. Mute that before it goes on. Uh, let's see. There's nobody that I know online at the moment, so let's go look at the browse. Fall Guys is going on, Barrow Trauma people are streaming. Uh, let's see. There is. Um, there is one. <clears throat> okay, I'll propose this one to you again, for here for confirmation whether to raid or not. But uh, one of the members of the Yawks cast is streaming. They're streaming Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not really much for that kind of uh, game, but fun, uh, <clears throat> to those people who do like it, uh, go and uh, do have fun with it, but it's just not for me, I'd say. Uh, let's see, some other names here. Uh, Shrimp OS, who is streaming The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Then there's another one called Mech Pig Jr. who's streaming a game called Pizza Tower. Um, and another V Ventar who is playing Shadowrun Returns. Uh, does any of those sound like a... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> what is with my tongue today? Uh, do any of those names sound like someone you'd want to, to send uh, the people watching to? Well, Zelda and Shadowrun sounds like good games. Two names okay. alone is not really good good enough for me to know if, uh, if uh, it's a person I want to watch or not. Yeah. Uh, but they are in the recommended channels here, so... Okay, just click. Then I'll copy over their, their name here, just, just to double check. And then move on to the own, my own channel, so I will actually move along with the raid, even though I don't really need to, but oh well. Slash raid shrimp OS. Okay. So then, uh, yeah. Thanks again, everyone who may be watching now or later. Um, we'll have to see when we can stream again. Hopefully tomorrow. If we do, it'll have to be early again. Um... Yeah, we'll have to look at how scheduling goes from now on, since not all weekends will be free for me. Uh, every other weekend should be. So maybe some weeks we can do Monkey Island and Minecraft in the main week. Might be a good uh, improvisation if needed. Yeah, but we'll have to see how it goes with my uh, schedules and such with work. But yeah. for now though, 
uh, yeah, let's head on over to the raids. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then, uh, yeah, until then, <laughs> until next time. <laughs> Be uh, safe, folks. And watch out for bloody seagulls. And yeah, enjoy. <laughs>